the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Gemini, welcome to your February 2019 reading with me. And um, before we start your reading, I just wanted to go over a little bit of astrology. You guys know how I am. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, this is just going to take a few moments. I think it's really important to know what houses we're all going through as the 12 zodiac signs. So Gemini, as you may know, you are an air sign. Okay, you're a mutable air sign. And it's February. So February is all about Aquarius and Pisces energy. Every month is shared by two zodiac signs. Okay. So Aquarius is another air energy for you guys. Aquarius is a fixed air sign. So I believe in Aquarius season, you guys learn the most about mental stability, okay? That air energy is really going to help you out. Now, this is ninth house energy, okay? And when we go through ninth house energy, yes, we can we can travel, okay? There can be some travel going on. But really, the, the main thing I think about uh, with ninth house energy is beliefs, okay? So this is about your beliefs mentally, how you can expand your mind, okay? Now... Aquarius is a really brilliant house to have as your ninth house. So Aquarius is nine houses away from you, Gemini, and that's why Aquarius is your ninth house. Um, this means that you can learn the most from collective energies. Maybe you learn the most around groups of people, okay? Maybe you learn the most um, you're around large communities and social groups, stuff like that. So we've got some expansion going on the first half of February in Aquarius season. We got a new moon there, setting new intentions to expand, new intentions to grow. So that's what's going on the first half of February, and then we move into Pisces season around February 19th, okay? And so that's going to shift all this energy from your 9th house to your 10th house, all right? So what you believe in expansion, your philosophy, that's going to be expanding into your career. So I didn't really, um, I didn't really focus on this. And I didn't know this, but Pisces is Gemini's 10th house, okay? So this is about your long-term goals, your success, and your future the next 10 years, the next cycle, the next 10 months, things like that. All about your career, though, Gemini, and your legacy. So there's actually a very spiritual legacy that Gemini's has to offer because Pisces is a 10th house. That's a very spiritual legacy. I will talk to you guys more about that in March, but I just wanted you guys to know that you are going through belief stuff this month. You're going through... You know, learning, education, your higher mind, Gemini, is what Aquarius represents. And then we have Pisces energy, that's your, your 10th house of career, and more of that futuristic energy, okay? So if there's anything coming up about work this month, or even if you work in, with education, or if you teach, if you're a student, all those energies are kind of combining for you guys, okay? So, um, happy Valentine's Day to those of you who are celebrating, whether you're single. Gemini, you guys are the lover's card, Okay? So, there's definitely that love energy, you know, available to you guys and for you guys. So, I just wanted to celebrate love. I'm not much for corporation holidays, but I love love. So, I took the liberty of decorating in, in love this month. Um, I love a good theme. So, happy Valentine's to, to those of you who are divorced, single, married, coupled, whatever. Um, and I also... I'm shuffling on camera today for you all because the last couple months I have our, I've been shuffling off camera, so we are going to shuffle um, on camera today. So we're going to start off with these cards. This is an, um, a deck that I haven't used um, on my channel yet, but it is l notes from the universe, okay? So we've got all these cards here, and we're going to get you a card, and this is literally the universe talking to you, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up for you guys, all right? So what do we have for Gemini for February 2019? Universe, what is it that you have to say to Gemini February 2019? What is the message for Gemini February 2019? Okay, so we have a card coming out, and it said love, love is the reason. See, this is why I like these cards, and I'm really glad I chose to use, well, I kind of got led to use these. Because I am going with the theme of love, and these cards have a lot to do with love and from the universe and stuff. So, Gemini, your message for February is love is the reason. So, if you're wondering, if you have the question why in your head, the universe is telling you that love is the reason. Now, we have a message on the back, and it says, Each person in your life is there for a reason. 
And that reason always has something to do with love, like me, the universe. So I really love these cards because it really gives the universe a very kind voice um, and a, a way for the universe to, to send messages to you. So that is your message, Gemini. Each person is in your life for a reason. And this is going to have something to do with your overall reading um, for February. Sorry, I, this is all out of whack, you guys. All right. So, Gemini, I did shuffle. It took me so long to find your guys' ruling card, okay? I kept seeing all kinds of other stuff. I seen Virgo and Pisces. I seen Aries a bunch, okay? I even seen Sagittarius. I seen the Knight of Swords, which is a lower vibration of you guys. But I finally got the Lover's card to come to the front of the deck. So, this is going to represent you guys. Um, and I do this every every different sign I read for. I make sure to get their ruling tarot card because that's my way of preparing my deck for that specific zodiac energy so we've got the lovers card here this is your guys's beautiful tarot card beautiful for the, this love energy strong connection energy and you guys know this is you this is not necessarily you with another person but this exists within you gemini this is your twins okay that that duality that adam and eve essence okay masculine feminine i do want to take a look uh behind you to see what energy and what tarot card represents february for you Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? We've got Sagittarius and Gemini here, okay? This is really, really beautiful. As you know, well, as some of you may know, Sagittarius is actually your guys' opposite sign. So we've got two opposite signs here. I'm not sure if any of you guys are dealing with Sagittarius, but we have Archangel Michael here and Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Michael, you, this is Archangel Michael here in this card. Okay, now this is interesting that Adam and Eve essence, all we're missing is the devil card, and that would be very biblical. But we have some we have some red winged angels here, Gemini, and this could also be if this isn't a Sagittarius, it could be talking about balance, alchemy, it could be talking about patience, okay, trying new things, testing waters. All right, but some of you guys are gonna you're gonna have some kind of Sagittarius energy around you now. Jupiter's in Sagittarius, this is an opposition. Gemini and Sagittarius are right across from each other on the zodiac wheel. Okay, so this is a message about balance. Okay, because we have another indication of balance here too. Financial balance and equal give and take in relationships. Okay, so for some reason this is relevant in February because there is some sort of deception to look out for as well in February. Okay, but we look, we're looking at balance here. We're looking at alchemy. Okay, but I really did, I did love to see the temperance card right behind you guys. Okay, so there's something that, that needs to, there's something you need to be patient for, Gemini, okay? There's definitely some, patience is going to be very relevant for you in February. But let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys. I'll get you guys your reading. So this is for Gemini, February 2019. What is the messages for Gemini, February 2019? First card out is the Four of Pentacles. So February begins with a tight grip on something, all right? Could have to do with a Cancer soulmate that walked away because I see the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Chariot. Maybe someone's just trying to move forward in spite of obstacles from the past. But we do have a Cancer that's hanging on, all right? There's someone who's hanging on to a Cancer. There's just some kind of energy there. Another way to see this is victory, okay? There's something here about moving forward with victory, okay, in spite of your obstacles, and this could be financial for some of you guys too, okay? But this is like moving on from something that you used to hang on to really tightly, a relationship, a job, something that was a comfort zone, okay? So let's see what else is for Gemini for February 2019. We have the Ace of Wands. That's awesome. And we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the King of Wands. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe even um, a love message for some of you guys. Or t maybe you're the one expressing your emotion. What else do we have for Gemini for February 2019? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Gemini, February 2019. What are the messages for Gemini? So we do have that Knight of Cups coming back out. So there is some sort of love message in February from you guys or to you guys. Now there could be certain defense. I don't know if there's a water sign or if someone's just kind of emotionally defensive here. Okay. 
but we do have that message. Oh, goodness gracious, Gemini. I am so sorry. Um, I'm moving my computer too far back, honey. But yeah, someone's defensive here, okay, about maybe a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But it looks like there's some kind of, yeah, definitely Virgo. We got two different different Virgo energies coming up, all right? So there's a Virgo, there's some Virgo battles. Somebody is confused about how to offer love to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I see Virgo for sure. Virgo energy, I should say. So what else do we have for Gemini? February 2019. The Two of Pentacles, okay? We've got some juggling. Perhaps something to do with children. Maybe there's something from the past, but there, this battle here, it is something from the past, okay? And it's definitely some financial stress, okay? I do feel something financial for February for you guys. 2019, February. Now, this is interesting. Okay, we have the Knights. Well, the Ten of Cups is coming out, but this is how these cards just came out. So, Gemini, this is you, okay? This is the lower vibration of you, the Knight of Swords, Okay. But we had, what we had crossing you is the Ten of Cups. So there's something here about, you know, emotional happiness, okay? This is what someone's trying to work on, but someone feels mentally trapped inside their head. You know, you're trying to charge forward towards what would make you the most happy, Gemini, but I think you're juggling two different people, places, and things, that dual energy. Let's get one more card for you, Gemini. One more card for Gemini. And the bottom of your deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Alright, so we have you basically, you know, re you reap what you sow kind of energy. Alright, I'm going to have to bend this down a little bit so that you can see the whole reading. Now your last card is the Six of Wands. So we've got a lot of horse energy here. we got two, three white horses actually. Three white horses in the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the... Six of Wands. So, could be dealing with a Pisces, another Gemini. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Um, so, fire, earth, water, and air. You got all the elements, so that's what's up. Let's go ahead and break some of this down. Okay, Gemini. We'll just start with what card came out first for you, the Four of Pentacles. So, we talked a little bit about this being something that you're hanging on to in February. It does look like it's financial, especially with the Two of Pentacles beneath that. Um, but this could be anything that you value okay that you're hanging on to now this is a tight grip okay a very tight grip and you just want to make sure that you're still allowing space for other people and places and things to come in gemini because if you're hold the four pinnacles you know it takes up all of our energy that his this guy's hands are occupied his head is occupied and his feet he can't go nowhere he can't do anything because he's basically become so attached to whatever these pinnacles are that you know, he's, his hands are filled, basically, okay? So just be very careful here, because we've got a lot more coin in your reading than just these four-ass pinnacles, these little-ass pinnacles. This is a comfort zone, though, okay? I think you guys are juggling um, something new and something old, the past, the future, something like that. There's just some financial stress here. So I think you guys are going into February really focused on, you know, your financial gain. This card is good when it comes to making money, though, because, you know, this is like speaking to saving money. It's like a miser card, okay? But to me, Gemini, just intuitively, you're hanging on to something. Somebody's hanging on to you, okay? There's something you don't want to let go of. So you want to ask yourself, uh, what don't you want to let go? Who, what, where, when, why, like... What are you hanging on to in February that you don't want to let go of and why? You want to ask yourself, you want to question your comfort zones this month, okay? Why does it make you comfortable? Why does this person make you comfortable? Because comfort zones can kind of limit our growth, okay? Especially because the card coming out after that is the Ace of Wands. So there's something here about a new spark, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There is a new spark in February, okay? First couple weeks of February, there's going to be these new ideas, new passion, you know, um, some kind of new creative endeavor or something like that. The Ace of Wands is very magical. This is a magic wand, okay? And um, so, yeah, there could be something here about you holding on to something because you're, you're waiting for this new spark. Like, there's a person, place, or thing that sparks something in you. Like, it could be a job, but for others of you, it's going to be a person, okay? And so the universe is coming in to give Gemini some sort of new endeavor, some new, something that, someone or something that is new and something that you can be passionate about in February. I think this is coming in to release your stress financially, okay? New ideas, all right? This is a manifestation, okay? 
So there's a manifestation opportunity coming in for you guys in February while you're hanging on to something as a comfort zone, right? I feel like this is more of an aid. This magic wand is more of a tool that's coming in for you. It's something that's going to light passion in you, and it might help you release your tight grip on a person, place, or thing. Especially because we have the Ten of Pentacles coming up next. So this looks like maybe a career spark. Some of you guys might get passionate about your future, especially going into Pisces season when we have that 10th house energy, okay? So this is that energy of, you know, financial success, that 10th house energy of Pisces, the end of February here, okay? So be careful of what you're hanging on to at the beginning of February because as as we progress through February, there's opportunity for more coin, especially to those of you who are, you know, very interested or stressed out about the finances in your home. This is a family card, Okay, a generational card, so my grandparents, grandparents, my daughter's daughters, you know, lots of generational steps here. Lots of different ages. We've got lots of different um, age groups in this picture, even animals. So financial completion, okay, this is a good card to have. It's like the white picket fence kind of energy, everything going good in the home environment. This is what you want to charge forward to, Gemini, that financial security, okay, being completely fulfilled financially. We have two completions happening here for you. Something's completing um, emotionally and financially, but your home environment is coming up here for a lot of you guys, okay? But I do see some new, new, new ideas in regards to how you can make more money, how you can save better money. You know, even your overall energy is, you know, you're waiting on something to grow. You've, you've been waiting on something to harvest, okay? You're waiting on something to ripen. Waiting on your chance, basically, waiting on your moment, Gemini, to basically charge in after this coin or after something you value. Pinnacles aren't just money. Pinnacles are every anything that's physical, anything that's materialistically touchable and tangible, you know what I mean? So we've got something there completing at that level, okay? Lots of fulfillment there uh, is what Gemini is probably thinking about. But, you know, I do feel like there is a new beginning in the middle of these two energies, but it's it's going to involve you letting go of a comfort zone, maybe um, changing some things up in your in regards to your career, okay? And then moving on from that, we have the Knight of Cups. So here's your first messenger of the month. We have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But any of us can take on the energy of the Knight of Cups whenever we decide to move forward with our feelings. So this could be an energy you're taking on, Gemini. This could be an energy around you, but we have a Pisces for sure for some of you guys. And this is like a love message, maybe around Valentine's Day. Someone's moving forward here to express their emotion. Now, the Knight of Cups, if it's not love, this is also creative, okay? This is about moving forward in a more romantic way, possibly trying to open up your emotions a little bit more in February. Valentine's Day can do that to us, honestly. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. All the red and pink and all the all the energy around us, you know, it is symbolic. It has a greater meaning, a greater purpose. So don't be surprised if there is certain love messages or certain feelings that come up in February, Gemini, in regards to love. Because remember, love is the reason is the card that you got all over, all um, overall. So we have someone on the move here towards what they feel. Now, the Knight of Cups, he's moving, right? He's in pursuit. He's got something to say. He or she has got something to say. He's on a white horse, so there is some purity here. But the Knight of Cups moves. He allows his emotions to guide him. Now, this is not always, take it from a Pisces, this is not always a safe, safe thing for you or another person to do. Because sometimes the Knight of Cups wanders right into sticky situations because he let his emotions lead him there. So it's going to be up to you guys whether this is a good or bad thing in uh, February. But it looks like someone is really moving towards what their emotions are telling them. That's not very typical for you, Gemini. But, you know, we take on certain energies when we need to. Now, this could be Pisces season, guys. Because we do have an indication here of your Pisces 10th house. All right, I told you at the beginning of the video that Pisces is your 10th house. We have an indication of Pisces here. This is the Pisces card. And then we have the 10th, 10, 10 pinnacles. So that's the career. So it's interesting. We have an indication here of your Pisces 10th, 10th house um, telling me that in Pisces season, um, so after February 19th, you know, you are going to start moving towards your your stability you're going to get very grounded towards the end of february after aquarius season so these look like the aquarius cards 
in Aquarius season, you could have been hanging on to something, but then all of a sudden there's this new passionate spark when the energy moves into your 10th house of finances and career, long-term future and goals. And that might be why you guys are moving towards a more pa I do see that the, some of you um, are working in careers that involve your emotions. It involves your passion. So there is something here about releasing um, an earthly job to express your passion and your magic. So some of you guys are, um, you have your career involves something you're passionate about. So if you're passionate about cooking, some of you guys are, are chefs, you know. If you're an artist, some of you guys are painting, okay. I just see two indications of passion and romance. Some of you guys may even work with a, there could be a love offer that comes in, um, you know, there could be a love offer that comes in at work. Some of you guys might work with um, people that, that there's a new passionate, there's a new passionate spark. Uh, like, I'm seeing love and work kind of mixing together, okay? Now, that, that can manifest in different ways for you guys, but I am seeing that there is some passion at work, whether that's just you being creative, because I do see two, uh, two different paths here, okay, where there's a spark happening, Okay, to, to something that you've been doing or something like that, Gemini. And this is going to give you more stability. But I do see that, that there could be an offer. Um, there could be a love and a financial financial offer this month. I think they're, they're oddly intertwining. And that might be why moving forward we have the Two of Pentacles. Because there is some ups and downs back there. Someone here has some very highs and lows. The dual signs are going through a lot of highs and lows here. We're trying to sail through this energy the best that we can. Pisces is really going to bring out that duel, okay? Pisces is a very juggling energy, just like Gemini and Libra. So there is two people, places, and things that, that someone's juggling here, okay? They're very stressed, but they're trying to stay grounded. Um, this is working two different jobs. I think some of you guys have two different ways of making money. And one of those, those things are more heavy than the other one, okay? This is someone who's really juggling between um, a career that they're comfortable in or a home environment that they're comfortable in or a relationship they're comfortable in and then the other pinnacle represents that other choice there's like a choice here okay between comfort and growth financially there's definitely a choice between holding on and letting go i am feeling that some of you guys are not really sure you know whether to let go this is taurus virgo capricorn lots of earth in this reading earth pretty much dominates you have four earth cards okay so, you know, there's a lot here about your foundation, about your stability, Gemini, um, about your finances, stuff like that. Because on top of that, we do have the Ten of Cups, okay? So the Ten of Cups, this is talking about something that would emotionally fulfill you. Remember, we talked about that a little bit with the Ten of Pentacles. So you're wanting fin financial fulfillment this month, which is completely understandable because Pisces energy is going to bring all this career stuff up for Gemini. We're going to have a new moon there. And on top of that, you guys are juggling finances um, in a relationship, in a home environment. Like, there's something here about children, okay, a relationship, um, some kind of completion going on emotionally. Lots of ups and downs. Emo there's a lot of emotion here I'm picking up on. But there is a cycle that is completing, okay? And this is like a choice that you have to make, okay, in regards to your happiness, in regards to a home environment or a relationship. Finances that go into the home, like you're trying to make ends meet, you know what I mean, some of you? And there's a lot, there's something that's being juggled here, okay? Because there's also this new passionate spark coming in, okay, with this Ten of Cups. There might be something this month that, that really sparks joy in you guys. Something, some kind of idea. You guys might get an idea to kind of, especially with the ninth house, that's like long distance travel. So you guys might be feeling that energy too. Something might spark, but... So there might be someone you where, somewhere you want to move, but, you, you know, you're going to have to start in February planning for that financially, because there's some somebody I do feel an energy that someone wants to move somewhere kind of far away or something. And you're basically just waiting on, um, you know, the money to do that. Like, you, you're definitely thinking of moving somewhere else. Some of you guys are. And if you're not thinking of moving, there's some financial expenses in the home. Like, someone wants to remodel, something like that. You know, Gemini, I'm not sure what's going on there. But there's some juggling, something going on with a home environment there's definitely kids involved for some of you guys with these two cards the ten of pentacles ten of cups i mean it's very important that in your relationships and in your home environments that stability is there right emotional stability financial stability because you know gemini you you're really ready to charge forward this is you you know the lover's card isn't here but this is a manifestation of you the knight of swords is my gemini card so we have a gemini and a pisces here for sure all right 
And you are ready to be that Knight of Swords energy where you charge forward mentally. You're not really, you don't care about the consequences. The Knight of Swords is very quick, one of the fastest knights. So there's also another, like, I don't know if this is you speaking or if this is someone else, Gemini, but someone has something to say here. Okay, there could be some kind of career thing going on here because you're charging towards the Ten of Pentacles, especially if we put the card like this. Okay, that's how the card's supposed to be. So there's either a message that comes in pretty quickly in regards to future finances or financial stability. Um, you know, this is tax season and shit like that. So there might be some kind of message about taxes or something. Something here with family and maybe even heritage, like money that's being passed down, inheritance, some kind of bag, okay? And this is like what you're after in February. And this is all that 10th house. Gemini, this is a great way to express the fact that you're going through 10th house energy. These cards are definitely saying that. So don't be surprised if your your mind takes a turn towards, you know, your future. You're going to be thinking a lot about your future stability and finances, okay? Longevity. Again, relationship stuff. Because you're also, no matter what, what way you put it, Gemini, you're charging towards a 10. So Geminis are really trying to complete a cycle, okay? You guys are really trying to, you know fulfill something in regards to your family relationships finances and home environment that's what i'm getting for all of you it's going to be different for all of you so take it as it resonates but this is you really charging forward towards something that's mentally fulfilling emotionally fulfilling financially like either way you guys are headed towards the end of a cycle so there's there's really no need to hang on at the beginning of the month or to continue juggling these two people places and things because I feel like towards the end of February, you guys are going to be in pursuit, okay? There's going to be something that's said. There's going to be mental clarity. This is like the truth. You know, the Knight of Swords comes in. He says things very quickly. And we have the Six of Wands, okay? So there's some kind of victory coming in here at the end of February for you guys. This is a lot of attention coming in. You guys might end February um, as like the spotlight kind of. Because this is a parade going on. Now there's a white horse. There's two white horses, all right? This could be diff the different sides of you charging in different ways. Like, part of you knows what the, the intellectual thing to do is. The Knight of Swords does charge forward towards, you know, he thinks, he, he doesn't give himself much time. You know, as soon as he gets an idea in his head, he charges forward to it. Lots of ideas coming to you in February, Gemini. And I think you're just really wanting to be the most victorious, okay? What can I do right now? This is like a, your mind has, something changed, like, Gemini completely changed their mind in February about something. Like, you guys might be going a whole different direction come the end of February. And it's all because you guys are starting to realize what would be the most victorious, all right? What would be the most financially fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling? You guys could be charging right into a happy home environment. Or, you know, um, some of you guys have two different homes or two different ideas of where to live. And you're kind of trying to juggle these two different happy homes. You know, there's two different families here kind of um but it's all about financial financial security jesus i cannot talk in your guys's video but yeah we do in the we end the month on you know the six of wands so something comes in victoriously there's i feel like this is more of an attention thing for you like you're put at the center of attention okay there might be someone here there might be a love offer okay there might be someone who wants to give you a lot of attention gemini they might, this is this to me, these two cards is like somebody, whether it's you or someone else, this is someone who wants to give you their all, okay? Look at these two horses. They're both going in the same direction, but it's interesting. There is this Knight of Swords. So there might be part of you that is trying to charge away from this love offer, if you know what I mean. All these white horses here. So white animals, white horses, very important for Gemini this month, Okay. But we end um, your reading with these two messages here, okay? There's a love offer that comes in, someone who wants to wine and dine you. They want to express their emotions to you. You could be focused on your victory. And this might be a love offer that, like, this looks like a proposal to me because it's a love offer that happens in front of a bunch of people, okay? It's some kind of celebration. Some of you guys may be celebrating marriage or celebrating moving into a new home with someone. Someone finally has... In February, they finally have the financial means to move forward romantically, whatever that means. That might be moving in together for some of you guys. But, you know, it's interesting when I read for Gemini, there is always this push and pull that I feel because this, this part of the reading is completely different than this part. 
because there is a, a side of you that still feels like you're juggling two relationships, two homes. There's these two different parts of you, okay? And it's like, you know, you're charging forward towards something, but there's also this victory. So it, there's a lot of duality here, Gemini. But at the end of the month, it does look like you're focused on your victory. There's something that you get attention for. You receive some sort of public congratulations, but it is also in relation to you know, love, because we, it might be a Pisces, some of you guys might be winning with a, okay, this is, either you're dealing with a Pisces, okay, or in Pisces season, you guys are going to be very, there's a lot of victory coming in for you attached to this Pisces energy, this 10th house energy, yes, so I see career victories come Pisces season, so make sure you guys set your intentions on March 6th when we have a new moon in Pisces, I will have a video for that, but that's a good time to set intention for financial success and different career stuff, so there is definitely a message here about your, your 10th house of career, you know, I don't know where the Aquarius energy went or what you guys decided to do with that 9th house energy, okay, but Pisces season came through for y'all, so I feel like you're going to feel a very big shift when Pisces season comes in at the end of the month and it's all about victory again I am sensing that there's like some of you guys work with people you that you have interest in or there's someone at work that has a crush on you or something like that um there's just emotions getting involved like romantic feelings are involved with your victory and with your finances this month okay um maybe you work with an ex or something like that or maybe um you know, this is just manifesting in, a, in kind of a different way, but I do see that. For some of you guys, you're going to resonate, um, you know, with that energy. So the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So you are waiting on something to grow. You're waiting on some kind of harvest. This is reaping what you sow. So, you know, it depends on all you guys, um, you know, whatever work you've put in so far since the last, you know, last Pisces season. Like, this is like the last year of a harvest. You know, February is going to be the month where you take a kind of a, a break, okay? Some of you guys are taking a little bit of a step back to kind of reassess, you know, what has grown in your relationships, in your home environments, at a job, because you're going to be making decisions to move forward. I love that the Knight of Swords came up here because I feel like that's who you guys are in February. You're more of that Knight of Swords energy, okay? You know, the Lover's card is you as well. But it's interesting, before I started your video, I was trying to find the lover's card. I was shuffling, letting the spirit do its thing. And the card that kept showing itself to me was the Knight of Swords. And I'm like, damn, is is Gemini just in that, that more of a Knight of Swords energy? And it's interesting, that 10th house energy is going to... It's going to compel you guys to move towards your future. It's going to, that's that Capricorn energy, especially if you have Capricorn energy. That 10th house is really going to illuminate your future. Like, hey, Gemini, you know, what do you think about the next 10 years? You know, do you want to be with this person the next 10 years? You want to live here for the next 10 years? It's going to start being time to think about the next 10 year cycle, okay? There is some kind of energy here where someone feels really trapped in their mind. This is the underlying energy, okay? So some of you guys are waiting on, you know, someone could actually be in prison. You could be waiting on someone to get out of prison or this could be your own mental prison that you're in, okay? Because this person doesn't really know how to move forward. So they're kind of waiting in February. They're waiting on something to open up. They're waiting on a certain spark of an idea. You're waiting on, this is someone who's waiting on money. You feel very trapped financially, but you're waiting to see, waiting to hear back from a job maybe, Okay, because there is something you're going to be celebrating here, all right? Maybe this is a third party for some of you. Some of you guys are trapped in um, situations where there's three or more women or three, three or more people, places, and things. You know, you guys could just be in your mind a lot, so someone is turning up here. Someone's drinking a little bit, you know, someone's drinking. This is like a social card. Some of you guys feel trapped, so you're trying to socialize more. That's that Gemini quality. Geminis like to socialize when they're trapped inside their mind. You like to meet up with friends and socialize and kind of like, you know, drink. And we have a Leo showing up here for some of you guys. Okay, and if this isn't a Leo, then this is talking about literally strength and courage, right? Celebrating your strength this month. You could be celebrating with a Leo, celebrating something with a Leo that's going to potentially free you from this mental prison. Okay, and then there is some travel here, okay? Someone here is moving homes. I do feel like some of you guys want to move overseas to live somewhere else or something. And this might all start with either a Sag, um, an Aries, a Leo. There's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. There's an apology here. Some of you guys have fire signs that want to apologize to you. 
Okay, they want to express their love to you. There's Pisces energy strong here for you guys, but this doesn't have to be a Pisces. Is Yeah, there's just someone here who's spying on you, and they, they want to speak their truth. This could be you too, Gemini. But I do see some of you guys have fire sign apologies because, you know, there might have been someone in a marriage who decided to, you know, leave. Or maybe there was someone in a home environment. You know, this is like traveling, celebrating travel, traveling to celebrate. Maybe some of you guys have wedding energy or anniversary energy this month. But it does look like uh, someone is moving on here overseas again. And it's linked to some kind of leaving a marriage behind. Some of you guys are leaving a marriage behind. Or a committed relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage. Okay, so that that's pretty interesting, Gemini. It looks like there's a lot going on for you. But I would say, you know, to focus on your strength, you might need um, courage this month to kind of celebrate. Some of you guys are involved where with third parties that involve a Leo. Okay, it's like, it doesn't have to be a person, but there's a Leo, there's a Gemini, and then there's this other person, place, or thing. A job, a child, a living situation. Your overall energy for the whole month and for the reading, though, is you're just basically waiting on, you know, the key to this locked door. You're waiting on the key to this mental prison because there's something that you can't do right now, Gemini. There's something that you're waiting on. You know, I feel a very stuck, stagnant energy. But again, you do have that Knight of Swords moving forward and victory at the end of the month. So I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the month, literally at the end of February, you hear something victoriously. You weren't expecting it, but there's like this... Something that happens at work where it's like, you know, congratulations, Gemini. Gemini had the tidiest cubicle this month or Gemini had the most revenue. You know, whatever you guys are doing for work, you might just receive some kind of money or, you know, it might involve a Pisces too for some of you. So I'm getting lots of different stuff, but overall it looks like you guys are just kind of taking a step back. You know, taking a step back from this garden, from this, this bush, it has made you feel a bit in your mind. But I am getting an energy here of just kind of, you know, waiting. You know, someone does feel a little bit trapped while they're waiting on this money. But don't worry, celebration is on the way, okay? You have a lot of good cards here. There's a comfort zone to consider. Lots of financial juggling, you know. And not just, and some of you guys are not juggling financially. Some of you guys just have a decision to make. I feel like this is more of a decision for Gemini, okay? And keep in mind that resources are infinite, okay? So be careful making any decisions or be careful not making any decisions this month. Like, no, I don't have enough money to do that. Like, that that could potentially be a missed opportunity, okay? You have to, there's something here about trust in the universe, too. Trust in the universe enough to just move forward. Like, if you get an idea at work or if you get an idea that could potentially bring in more money for you and release you from this um, heavy comfort zone, you know, that could be what sets you free from this financial prison, you know, someone's in a mental prison of constantly waiting on more finances, constantly waiting on hearing back about some kind of financial endeavor or something that you value. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know. So definitely a waiting energy here. Financially, yes. Comfort zones, decisions. Passionately, this is your only fire card. So be prepared for maybe a new fire sign to come into your life this month, Aries, Sag, Leo, or new passions in regards to your career. And another thing financially is that there's something completing, okay? There's something that, there's a new beginning that's required here financially because there's something here. Maybe you've been working somewhere for too long. You've been doing this to make money for too long. So you're wanting to move forward in a more passionate way. There's a new passionate career available for you guys and you're good at it. You know, it makes you good money emotionally there's some kind of emo someone wants to express emotion because this is also something someone do, someone requires a new emotional beginning too mentally oh I've, i lied this is another fire card that you have so in regards to the new sparks that happen this month there are going to be new sparks of victory okay so you have two fire sign cards my my bad my apologies all right and this is the only sword card you have, though. And the only air card you have is your own card, Gemini. So you are your own clarity this month. You are your own voice and truth, okay? And you're ready to move forward as the Knight of Swords. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, I appreciate all your comments. And if you would like a personal reading, if this resonated and you'd like a personal reading, please check my description box and email me so we can kind of start talking about what kind of reading you desire.
And other than that, guys, I will talk to you on the Virgo full moon towards the end of the month. And if I don't see you there, I'll talk to you in March. Bye.